Dodge Avenger heater core removal. To remove this, center console, glove box, all this stuff is clipped in. You got bolts down there. There's two bolts in here to get the center piece off. Before you can get at those two bolts, this pulls out with clips and then there's pot. This does not unplug. You have to undo the clip. This here clip. To get it to release. Do not advise anyone to do this job because you have to mess with the AC, you have to pull the AC down, evacuate it because you have to disconnect the AC lines. This is clipped in. These are just clipped in the little rail. Pull that up. You have to pull this up. These here, the glove box came out by me depressing two little tabs so I could drop the glove box down. There's a cable here that hooks into your glove box. You have to Disconnect that before you pull it down or you're going to break it. Once you have the glove box dropped down, it just latches in here, clips in. You just pull it out and get it out of your way. I took the stereo out. Not the stereo. Uh, I unfolded this bracket. I don't know if I needed to or not. I probably ended up taking stuff apart that I don't need to. I never did one of these before. Learning experience for me. So, I'll record it as I go. I don't really do the videos for just anybody. For someone who already has a grasp on how to do this kind of stuff, just for a guide. When you go to take the center console out, you have to have the brake pedal pulled as hard as you can all the way so you can get it to clear. All right, now I got the center console out. I'm just laying the stuff back there in the back seat. I'll drive the handle up all the way. I was able to lift the back of it and get it out of the way. You can see I still got a lot more disconnecting stuff before I get this whole dash out so I can get the box out to replace the heater core. Pull the screws out so I can remove this piece. That clips in. And there's some wires there. Get that out of my way. All right, I have to get this piece up. Just clips in. In order to get this piece up, I had to take this piece off, which clips in also. But there's a little black piece right here that slides in there. You have to press the little tab and slide it out. So you can get this part off. After you get that piece out of the way, then this piece will lift up. And I'll probably have to do the same thing over there, pull that column down so I can get the other side up. So I can continue to proceed to tear the dash out. Okay, now I'm taking this side down. And you see how it's tethered? You have to depress the tab so you can slide that up out. So you can get this side out. So you can get this top part of the dash out. Because they sit on top of one another. Alright, I'm going to have to take that piece off too. There's just little clips it looks like. Pull that off. So I can get this piece off. Of the dash. There are two screws in here I took out. The rest of it pipe clips in. Alright, I got that panel down. They are clipped in. Now, so I got that little piece out from underneath. So you pull it loose. Still got a long way to go. Alright, I have to move this. This just clips in. I started prying on these little tabs down here. And then pry up here. Get this all torn loose. So I can get this out of the way. 
and I'll record in a moment. Okay. Okay, get this piece off. You have to separate it from this piece. Little tabs there. Careful not to break them. I broke one. Alright, to get this piece off, you got a little screw in there you gotta take out so you can get this piece pulled towards you and this comes up off. Alright, now I got the cluster there. Now there's a whole bunch of screws in this dash pad. I'm going to take out so I can remove the dash pad out. And hoping I'm not taking more stuff out than I have to. Alright. I removed this piece from underneath here. Underneath the steering column here. Now I'm going to take these bolts out. There's some bolts. In there on each side on the other side of the dash there's bolts you got screws in there I'm not sure I have to take them out yet or not but you got some bolts back there so I'm pretty certain I'm gonna take them loose and you see the bolts over there one of them I'm hoping I want to take this pad off let's see if I loosen those bigger bolts the whole dash comes loose Alright, I removed the plastic shroud off the steering column there. Because I'm gonna have to drop the steering, steering column down. And there's bolts up there. So I can drop the steering column down to give me room to move the dash. Alright, I removed all the screws out of this piece. And then it's still clipped on. I got that pulled loose. Do the same thing with the other side. Get all the screws out so I can pop that loose. It's gonna be clipped fast. I took all those bolts out and they still don't move. So I tear more into it. This is coming off. I remove this side. That's the side of the airbag. You have to make sure you take those two bolts out from underneath and disconnect your plugs. So you can get this cover up and off. I'll give you a view of what it looks like so far. A good bit coming apart. All right, I found another bolt. It's in there. Try to take this plug out. I think if I take that bolt. Well, this thing will be loose, I think. The bolt there you gotta take out. The bolt there you gotta take out. You sure I got all that stuff taken up? Started marking my holes. Cause there's so many of them. Oh, I got that. Oh, you probably can't see it with me shaking so much. I got it moving some. All right, I had to remove the steering column. I pinched it with the vice grips so it doesn't turn, so you don't mess up your clock spring and your steering angle. Then I was able to get that plastic piece off. Now if you remove the foam and stuff, you find more bolts to take off. And I'll just to be about ready to remove this metal bracket so I can get that box out. And I have the AC unit draining the AC system. So this is not for a novice to do. You 
can see the heater core there. Under the cover. I have a feeling I pulled a lot more off than I needed to. Maybe not. Give me a moment, I have to remove that. Cut that bracket down. There's two screws back there. On the firewall. Two Phillips. I'm going to take them out and see if I can get the heater core out the side of here without removing that whole box. If I can do that, that means I did not have to pull the AC down. Okay, I only had to take the one screw out to get this piece off. So I can see heater core. See the other one over there by the AC? Over there. I took that screw out. I didn't need to. I think I can wiggle a heater core out. Well, I had it disconnect the AC. Take that bolt out. Say so AC unit. Just disconnected the heater cores on the other side of the firewall now. So I just remove it. There's the firewall. This thing or this thing's all loose now. And I'll be able to remove it. I'm not going to record me putting it back together. I'll show the finished product. I'll show you that I did get it back together, but I'm not going to show you. It's just in reverse. There's the old heater cure. Here's the new one. I just have to slide back in the hole. And I cannot do this the camera in my hand. I'm not breaking something. But I'm putting it back together. And I got it all back together. They're on good heat. A lot of work this one is.